Hi everybody, my name is Frank Flimsay. I'm an entrepreneur, film director, and also the owner of Flimsay Films. Back in 2015, Bobby De Niro, Robert De Niro, shall I say, and I were on a film set, and he turned around to me and he said, Frank, you've got a certain magic about you, I've got an amazing way of developing and helping people get the best out of themselves. Maybe you should do something with young people. So it just kind of gave me this idea and uh, I went away and actually then set up Flimsay Films with the objective of helping pathetic and hopeless young people. If youth unemployment is like the Titanic, then see Flimsy Films as a lifeboat. Although I'd like to think, probably with the Titanic analogy, um, that we can provide more lifeboats than they did back then for obvious reasons, because of the, the 1,500 people that drowned. At Flimsy Films, we see filmmaking as a way that young people can express themselves and I suppose show how they really feel and just let go of their inhibitions and they can also let go of their frustrations and we very much encourage that. I want young people on my course to see me as Quentin Tarantino but with a wand and that magic wand will increase their team working, their motivation most importantly their confidence. I want them to see Pulp Fiction not as fiction but as reality and I want them to get the reservoir dogs barking again. You see I feel like it's a kind of gift. Well it's my gift really and it's as Robert De Niro said Frank, it's just your way of giving something back. Teamwork makes the dream work. And you guys can have to work really closely together as a team. Next slide, please. Okay, because it's all about creativity. Creativity is the key here. Okay, brilliant. Next slide, please. Okay, and what you'll find guys is occasionally a buzzer goes off within our studio. If it does, don't let it worry you too much, just answer it has a very distinctive sound. The main thing is, just have an amazing experience, have amazing fun. Okay, great stuff. Next slide please. You, now you guys may probably recognise me because I've been on a few Hollywood film shoots with some pretty amazing actors. Very good friends with Antonio Banderas. And, uh, and Eddie Murphy. Okay. Oh. Who's, who's done that? Who's done that slide? <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. You don't even look like Shrek. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, put the next slide on, please. Okay, oh, come on! <laughs> Have you two done that as well? Who's done, who's done that one? Oh, well, thanks a lot. I don't even wear trunks like that. <laughs> Is the next one corrupt as well? Is the next slide corrupt? Put your hand up if you've corrupted the next slide as well. Put your hand up. If... All of you. All of you. Put it on there. Put it on. <laughs> that's pornography. Seriously, that's pornography. And there's no place for it here, okay? Disgusting. Oh. You know, I don't. Anyway, good news is at least you're all working together as a team. That's amazing. Let's get started. A great film needs great team working skills. And at Flimsy Films, what we've developed is this amazing game called Trust, where you quite literally put your life in the hands of your colleagues. Andrew, are you ready to play? No, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> if you don't have to, if you don't want to play, you don't have to. Hey! <laughs> Ready for this? 
James, let's do this. Good lad. So we just come in here to practice the audio and video and rehearse this new scene. Uh, Frank's gone somewhere. Um, so, yeah, let's just get on with it. I'm leaving. I'm done. Please, Hang on. Phoebe, no. One more job and I'm through with the game. I'm done with this life. Careful! Hey guys, my name's Alex and I'm a learner. And I've been in charge today. I've been put in a director by Frank. And we're here with all this beautiful stuff. Because I'm in charge with me. I'm in charge of all this beautiful stuff. So it took us about an hour and a half to get to this place. Which is Alex, a nice... did you bring the tripod? Ooh. Phoebe, Phoebe, please. Phoebe, no. I should have listened. I should have got out. Please don't leave me. Cut. This isn't working. Again. You're a terrible tripod. My back is in, guys. That's no excuse. All right. Let's try again. Three, take two, one. Action. This is absolutely ridiculous. Half an hour to get changed into a uniform. Where are you? Finally! <laughs> Andrew, we said uniform. Hey guys, Frank Flimsay here. Got an amazing day ahead of us on the film set. Unfortunately, we can't use Andrew because he managed to come dressed as a unicorn rather than in uniform. The good news is, Big Frank's got a lot of industry contacts and I've been able to get in the services of an amazing actor straight off the set of EastEnders where he's been operating as an extra in the Queen Vic pub. So, really, really, really lucky. Firstly, let's just make sure that young James is safely stowed away after all his recent accidents. You're going to be okay over there, James, out of the way. Don't want him getting hurt all over again, do we? Okay, so we're just about ready now to go live. Brian, battery's nearly dead. Battery's nearly dead. Um, I don't think I've, I don't think I've bought a spare one. Uh, Jamie. Yes. Sorry, sorry guys, um, turns out the battery's nearly dead on the camera and I haven't got a spare one. Is that, do you think there's any chance you boys can get this, this scene done in one take? Yes, yes, Bill. Sorry, um, bit awkward. Okay, um, okay, let's get going. I'm done. I'm gone. I'm out. No more drug dealing. No more hits. No more gang war. I'm gone. The only thing that's kept me in this life is now dead. And you did it. You may not have pulled the trigger because you hate getting your hands dirty. But you know damn well you gave the order. 
Oh, Mark. You see, coming to my place of business, you know, I thought you were my friend. My lieutenant, in fact. And you come in here accusing me of these allegations, these heinous, heinous allegations of murdering your partner. And quite frankly, I find that a little bit disrespectful. Now, I'm going to give you two options. Option one, you can leave here and forget it's never happened. Or option two, uh, I don't know, you can leave here in a body bag. Now, choice, that's up to... Frank, camera's dead. I can't work with you amateurs! <laughs> I think you've seen firsthand during the course of this documentary the incredible impact that Flimsy Films has on the lives of young people. For me, if I was to sum it up in just one sentence, it would be young people leave here in far better condition 